A brief introduction to the use of herbs in Wiccan practice. The practice of Wiccan often includes incorporating herbs, plants, spices, and other natural specimens. The Wiccan practices both the religion and the craft. Practitioners often collect various tools and equipment in order to craft magical herbal items, spells, and amulets for rituals. Herbs are just one of the many tools that Wiccans have in their magic toolbox. Their toolbox may also include essential oils, crystals, amulets, wands, and many more. If you have been wanting to explore herbs more, make sure you have one important piece of equipment, the mortar and pestle. This will help you crush and mix your herbs. So what herbs are most frequently used in witchcraft? Tradition spells and potions utilizing herbs and related herbal traditions may vary greatly from practitioner to practitioner. Just keep in mind the inherent individualistic nature of each practitioner's faith and tradition. It's also fun and exciting to experiment, and many practitioners choose herbs that they feel drawn to energetically or intuitively. Each herbal tincture, spell, practice, or ritual may be tailored to the specific needs at that given time in season. As it is with all signs and symbols, the associated herbs used within each practice or ritual is rich with symbolic meaning and personal preferences that are often only known to those within the particular coven or practice in question. There are, however, some basic and common herbs that are most often used in Wiccan magic. Here are some examples. Frankincense Frankincense is one of the most recognizable herbs in Wicca and witchcraft. A resonant of frankincense can represent the sun. This herb is often used to bring forth success or power. It can help increase one's personal power and is a powerful tool for spells and magic. Myrrh Myrrh is often used to represent the moon. Myrrh resin can be used in spells to enhance psychic abilities and intuitive guidance. It can help the practitioner tap into the subconscious and can enhance dreams. Red Sandalwood Red Sandalwood Traditionally in Wicca, the red sandalwood is seen as a symbol for Mars. Red sandal what is often incorporated into spells and rituals where the practitioner desires more energy and courage. Sandalwood is often seen as a protective herb as well. Cinnamon Cinnamon is a common ingredient in baking, but it's also commonly reported in herbal remedies and tinctures. This herb represents mercury and is often associated with the desire to bring forth memory and mental sharpness. Cedar Cedar is a common herb in Wiccan is used when magic calls for bringing forth the power of Jupiter. And it is associated with abundance and growth. Rose Rose, whole flowers, petals or rose water are common ingredients in Wiccan spells and rituals. Rose symbolizes the planet Venus. Of course, Venus and hence rose brings forth blessings for love, beauty, and art. Patchouli Patchouli is probably the most common herb known to the Wiccan world. Patchouli is a potent herb that packs quite a punch. Symbolic of the planet Saturn, this herb is extremely grounding and protective in its magic qualities. White William White William is another common herb in Wiccan magic practices is White Willow. White Willow is symbolic of the planet Neptune. 
This herb is primarily used for spells and rituals where inspiration and creativity are desired. Nutmeg Nutmeg is a very common herb in baking and cooking, but also in Wiccan magic and alchemy. Nutmeg is representative of the planet Uranus. It is often used in spells or rituals wherein the desired outcomes have to do with major change, transition, or health. It can also be used to enhance visions and propel visionary insights. Poppy seeds Poppy seeds are not only a common ingredient in cooking, but they are also an important herb for magic, spells, and rituals. Poppy seeds are symbolic of the planet Pluto. Wiccans may utilize poppy seeds whereby the desired result is an increase in inner knowledge, guidance and working through karmic blocks or bringing forth good karma. In closing, there are many more herbs that may be incorporated and an almost unlimited number of ways in which these herbs could be combined for an infinite number of craft practices and rituals. We have tried to present these herbs universally, however, some Wiccans may disagree with some of our interpretations. This is to be expected as each Wiccan's practice is as unique as their own individuality. Ultimately herbs and rituals are meant to be a bit playful and drive a spiritual practice, rooted in tradition, but with plenty of freedom and flexibility. As you develop your own craft, allow your practice to also support your spontaneity and improvisation, too. Listen to your intuition and it will guide you towards the herbs that will best serve you on your path. I hope you enjoy learning about these traditional Wiccan herbs.